All right, guys, we're going out here to check traps. Um, didn't get anything on the last check except some stinkers that I don't want, so uh, I didn't video that one. But let's go see what we got today. The rain finally stopped. It dumped rain all night long. It was snowing a little bit ago, so we got some crazy weather going on, but let's go check the traps. Nothing in number 24. Nothing in 23, 22, empty, 21, empty, oh hey, we got Ricky in number 20 and we got Another muskrat in the foot trap. I don't know if he's dead or if he's just sleeping. Nope, he ain't dead. So, we got two catches so far. Not really what we wanted. Oh, you can see this slough. That water went up a bunch. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Nothing in 19. Nothing in 18. I'm trying to get got my trail cam set up right there. I'm trying to get one on video of uh, getting caught. So that's uh, number 17. I think these cows came down through here and picked off all these uh, flags that we had in the ground. I got some crazy caught right there. Got a quail. I have never in my life. That's number 16. Got a quail in it. What the world. Hey, at least we're getting some catches. 15 nothing. Oh, we got another big one. Another great big one. That's all. Fruit, man. That's tan off of this place. This is trap number 14. They must have moved a little bit last night at least. Another flag out. Trap number 13 is empty. Trap number 12. What the world? Got a gray fox. Are you kidding me? This is trap number 10. What the world? Why are we getting so many bycatches? Number nine is empty number eight is empty number seven is empty number six is empty or no that's seven i got off a little bit number eight <clears throat> or number six is empty and number five is in. All right, there's number four. Number three. Looks like they went around this one. That's exactly what that looks like. Number two. <clears throat> And number one. So we got quite a few mixed bags here. We are not trying to catch those foxes. We're not trying to catch 
uh, raccoons. We're not trying to catch muskrat, although muskrat do damage um, somewhat like a nutria does, but not quite as bad. And definitely not trying to catch quail, but hey, that stuff happens, I guess. So get these emptied out and reset. And uh, well, guys, this actually makes me kind of sad. I really do wish we hadn't caught this one. I don't mind foxes at all. And uh, I just assume they stay out here and do their thing. But uh, he chose to go through the gap and I guess he paid for it with his life. Pretty cool little animal though. Yeah, that's sad. Not what we wanted at all. Hopefully no more getting my traps. Hopefully. Set here again, that's for sure. Ouch! That's barbed wire, man. That got my head good. Ah, that hurt. Should be good for whatever else gets in there. That's just a little teeny fox. Man, I gotta get some. I gotta get some weights on some of these things. This thing is a monster. Look at that thing. That thing is huge. That is crazy. Crazy big. Its head barely fits in there. Hey, that's 10 down. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. I 
take this trigger off, huh? I mean this uh, safety off. There we go. That's a brute, man. That's a brute. size Ricky but not what we wanted Sometimes. I think this was the trap that was a little bit wasn't in very good either because it's rocky here but uh, he had the one stake all the way pulled and the other one almost pulled so he didn't get away with my trap at least he wasn't going anywhere anyhow he got him right behind the head but pretty good little Ricky Get this and reset and get this little muskrat out of here. Well boys, we got a lot of things that we didn't want and one big brute that we did want. And you guys wonder what the difference between a muskrat and a nutri is? Here's the difference. That's a big old fat nutri. Yellow teeth. That's a muskrat. He's a lot smaller, and I'd say that's an average muskrat. Also, the tail on a muskrat is flat, and it's round on a nutri, all the way around. So, that's, that's the difference. I'm still pretty upset about that fox. Uh, not sure what to do about it, but... Anyhow, that's it for today. Thanks for coming along. If you like what you see, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you on the next one.